Good morning, friends. It is Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. We are on Vlogmas day four, I believe, and I feel like I fell off the bandwagon yesterday a little bit. I was planning to vlog. However, I started the day at the dentist. I had just my teeth cleaning every six months, and I had a different hygienist yesterday, and she was... I don't want to say, I don't know. She was just really like hard on my teeth and I had a headache all day long. So I was just kind of miserable. Ibuprofen didn't help. Tylenol didn't help, but it was, it was a long day. So we are starting fresh. It is Tuesday. Just got home from bringing the kids to school. We actually have the guys coming this morning. They should be here any minute to start working on installing my husband's golf simulator up in the bonus room. So I am not really quite sure what to expect. They're going to be here all week long working on it. And so we're just going to see how things go. I thought this would be the perfect day to hide out in my bedroom actually as they are working and share with you some last minute gift ideas. I think they're all on Amazon. So I am planning to do that. But before then, I just want to have some breakfast. Oh, and I'm also going to be putting a taco soup in the crock pot so I can share that recipe with you. Charlie is also something that I'm a little bit concerned about. He will bark at the men when they come in the house if they're working on something ladies he has no problem i know i get it but the men he just i mean it takes him a while to warm up so it's always a little bit overwhelming at first but we'll get used to them they're going to be here all week yish this is where they will be at we had the electrician here yesterday and last week working on some extra wiring all the deliveries have come and yeah, this is quite the setup, I think. It'll be fun to share it with you though. What do we think? This used to be your room to play and run. They just pulled up, so I'm going to go get the door, but yeah, golf is like my husband's thing. He could, I mean, golf every single day if he could, which now, I mean, he probably could. <laughs> oh my goodness, but the boys are excited about it as well. Raising little golfers, I think. They just stepped out to go get some supplies, but I wanted to show you, oh my gosh, I'm so excited that I'm wearing it two days in a row. But this is my new merch sweatshirt. It just came over the weekend and I've been wearing it nonstop. So I don't know, let's see here if we can do this without the lines there. So yeah, all is bright. I did the white, just a crew neck sweatshirt. I did a large though. I sized up quite a bit because I wanted it to be extra cozy and comfortable and I love this. Even Macy was like, mom, I wish you would have ordered me one. So I'll probably have to do that for her, but I love the white and I love the design of it as well. So I do always have this link down below in my description box. So of all my videos, I cannot promise it will get there now before Christmas, but those of you that have received them, let me know if you're loving them. Oh, I just, I can't get enough. Like that's why I'm wearing it again today. It's just so comfortable. I've just been drinking my coffee, folding laundry. I'm actually really looking forward to just spending the next few days at home. So yesterday I went through my Christmas room and it was a disaster. Like I was so embarrassed of the status of that room, like decor everywhere, glitter everywhere. So I went through and donated a bunch of stuff that just isn't gonna work here. And then I also just organized it so we're ready to go when it's time to take all the decor down, which is so hard to believe that we're like two weeks away from Christmas, less than two weeks away. So that was my big project yesterday. I felt like I just couldn't go on with my life until I got that room organized. It's just, it was driving me crazy. So that was yesterday's project and I also wrapped a gift. So just, I don't know, I'm just really looking forward to being at home this week and taking care of lots of little things. Next week is like the final push before Christmas and so I'm hoping next week I can scale back a little bit, um, have all my shopping done work on baking, maybe even watch a Christmas movie while the kids are at school. I don't know, I haven't even watched a Hallmark Christmas movie this year, which is not like me at all. So yeah, anyways, I think what I'm gonna do now is do the taco soup in the crock pot and just get that going. We have doctor's appointments and sports after school, so it's just one of those nights where having something ready to go when we get home, it will be like perfect. Got my crock pot out. And then the first thing I need to do is actually I have this ground turkey. I just need to brown this. 
I also want to do my advent calendar. I forgot to do it yesterday, so I need to do two days worth. I'm just kind of struggling with the candy advent calendar because we remember to do them in the mornings, but obviously, I don't know. I don't want to eat candy in the morning, so yeah, we're gonna do that here shortly too. making my own recipe up because I can't find the one I originally bought the ingredients for. So I have ground turkey, taco seasoning, diced tomatoes, I need to rinse the beans. Do that. And then add some diced onion. I always have mine in the freezer. I don't have canned corn, but I have frozen corn, so I'm going to add some of that as well. Tomato sauce. beans and uh, kidney beans here. And everything's better with garlic, isn't it? I believe so. So our contractor just texted me as well. He's going to be here this afternoon working on a separate project. So a couple months ago, I think it was, it's right before I decorated for Christmas we had some windows replaced in our living room. Well, now they need to come back and caulk and fill in holes and just finish it all up. Uh, so they're gonna be here doing that. So we're gonna have to move all the furniture. It's going to be a process. So I need to make sure that I'm available for that. So I'm like, oh my gosh, okay. I need to hurry up, sit down, talk about gift guides. So I've been collecting all the things from around the house that I wanted to share with you. Lots of just, I don't know. I've watched a lot of gift guide videos this holiday season, just trying to get ideas. And I feel like these are some unique ones that maybe you wouldn't see in everyone else's video. All of them are available on Amazon. And I think for the most part, they're all still available to get to you before Christmas. Mainly for the adults in your life. I have one little random thing that I got the kids one year that I'll throw in here as well. But yeah, lots of good stuff. Of course, I will have everything linked down below in the description box. Prices also range. I'll try to start with maybe some of the lower end items and then we have some more uh, pricier options as well. So yeah, I'm excited. I have almost all of my Christmas shopping done, but I'm still, there's still, there's always like that one or two people that they are like impossible to figure out what to buy. So if you feel like you're still holding on to those last two gifts, maybe you'll find something in this video. But anyways, let's jump in. I'm actually going to start with the one item that I bought for the kids. It would have been, I think, two years ago. Super random gift, but it's definitely something that's useful and will grow with them as they get older. And it's just one of these change canisters. It's plastic. It comes in all kinds of different colors. I tried to mix it up based on the kids, so uh, they didn't all look the same by any means, but just a place where they can collect all of their change. The cool thing is that it's battery operated top, so it counts all the money for them, and they have a fun time uh, sticking all their coins in. They've grown out of piggy banks. I think almost all of them broke on us, and so this has been just a really good transitional item. This is something that's not only great for kids, but also for adults as well. 
I think every year when I do share a gift guide, I must share something coffee related. A lot of us like our coffee. Coffee is like my special time in the morning. I look forward to it, but nothing gets me more irritated than a cold cup of coffee. Isn't that funny? I like hot coffee and I cannot lie. So these mugs are something that I actually thrifted them from Goodwill. Love them so much. I actually turned around and ordered more on Amazon because I broke a couple of them, but they are just a double like walled clear glass coffee cup they are amazing these are why they are amazing is they are they can hold 12 ounces of coffee not like your basic six or eight or even ten these are a good big large cup of coffee and they stay so hot I have a hard time actually using any other coffee mugs at this point, even the Christmas cute ones. I always use these every single day. I don't see myself ever wanting to switch back, but for like a fun hot cocoa, we'll use the Christmas mugs. But yeah, for your coffee lovers who love just a cup of hot coffee, these are where it's at. Highly, highly recommend them. I'm so glad I found them at Goodwill because otherwise I don't think I would have ever given them a try. So you can buy them in a set of four on Amazon, which is what I did. But also, if you want to add to your gift, I mean, you could also buy like some coffee to go along with it, a frother. This is not one from Amazon, but they have some highly rated frothers on Amazon that I will link as well. I'm also thinking about getting one of those. This is the one I got from Beam. Uh, but even the kids love them when they mix their hot cocoa with this frother. It's just, it elevates your coffee experience and it just gives you like the best foam. So yeah, coffee cups, these ones, a frother and maybe even some coffee to go along with it for all of your coffee lovers. Now sticking on the whole coffee bandwagon, I wanted to give a shout out to my new like travel coffee mug. Stanley is huge. I'm not going to talk about the Stanley tumblers at all. A lot of us have those now and <laughs> I'm actually gifting a few this year too. So anyways, Stanley tumblers, amazing gift. However, for those who already have that but still love their Stanley products, I wanted to give this Stanley like travel coffee mug a shout out. I bought this actually, <laughs> I ordered it for my birthday for myself and I've used it so many times within the past month. It keeps your coffee nice and hot, but it also has like this uh, button that you push so the coffee doesn't spill unless you're pushing the button. So it's just really nice. Um, especially if you have little little ones around who are a little bit wild and crazy. We have those. Uh, this has just been really great. I love this cream color, but of course they come in all different kinds of colors that you can choose from. This is a 20 ounce, so yeah, we don't mess around. We like our coffee. <laughs> Another great gift idea are candle warmers right now. This is the one that I have. Of course, I'll link this specific one. I have my eye on another one that has more of like the gold and clear glass. There's so many different options on Amazon. It's like this basic black one. You just set your candle right here. You can plug it in and the, I mean, I can't even describe to you how fast the room just fills with that scent. These are truly amazing. I love that you don't have to light the candle. It also has a timer so you can set it for two, four, six, or just on and off. And it also has different power levels. So it's just really nice and convenient. And they are so cute too. I'm not really going in any specific order. I'm just kind of grabbing as I go, but I am saving probably my favorite items for last. So keep that in mind. But I always like to share a game, something that our family has really been loving. And we have been playing this pretty much every single weekend since, I don't even know, we play a lot of games in the, in the colder months, especially on Sundays. So anyways, this has been our favorite game to play. Even our kids, our seven-year-old twins can play it as well. So that makes it really nice too, that we can involve the whole family. I was getting my hair done last week and my hairstylist, she was talking about, yeah, we played this game all Thanksgiving break. And she was describing, I'm like, I know which game you're talking about because it's our favorite too. So I wanted to talk about play nine. This is such a fun game. I initially just bought it because, you know, our family loves golf. And so I thought that they would like it, but I mean, it is just a really fun card game. I think it's catching on. It's under $20. You can play two to six players ages eight 
to adult is it's a lot of fun so i wanted to give a shout out to the play nine if you're looking for a new game to try with your family or a gift to somebody else i highly recommend this one we love it so this item would actually make a really good stocking stuffer but also i like to call them side gifts it's like not the main gift but it's something extra i always joke with my family oh you should get that for me as a side gift and they just roll their eyes but anyways this really would make a great gift for any woman in your life and it is the birdie like little alarm system have you seen these i initially saw them as a facebook ad and so i did buy a few of them and i do plan to gift one this christmas season but i have one that i keep with me in my car and basically what it is it's just like a little personal alarm system so if you were out walking by yourself or it just maybe where you're just not feeling 100% safe or just to have with you as peace of mind or for like a, a kiddo going off to college or living on their own for the first time. These are just a great little thing to have along. All you do, it has it comes on a keychain, so you attach it to your keys or whatever you like to use, but you just pull this and then a, a loud alarm siren goes off. So thankfully I haven't had to use it, but it's just a great little thing to have, a safety item. They come in all kinds of different colors. This is the white one. I can't remember the other color I have, but then I also have this really pretty lavender one in this box that I'm going to be gifting this Christmas. I'm just working through my pile here. This next item I actually gifted for my husband last Christmas, and we use it all of the time, but it is a Knox provisions binocular set now this is the 10 by 42 pro issue but they have all kinds of different uh, magnifications and series available i don't know a ton about binoculars but these seem to be a really good like standard set so they come in again lots of colors which is really fun like oranges yellows blacks greens all the all the shades but i chose these beautiful gray ones these are really nice binoculars. I feel like binoculars are maybe a lost art sometimes because we have our phones with us. But when you're looking out your window, uh, if you wanna see something, or maybe you, like for us, we live close to the lake. It's fun to look out on the lake or um, at wildlife, nature. There's just so many different reasons that one would want to use binoculars. These are some high quality, really nice ones. Um, I'm not gonna read everything about it, but it says they are waterproof binoculars. And what's also really nice too is that it comes with a really nice case as well. So these are like legit binoculars. We loved these binoculars so much. For his birthday, I actually gifted him a monocular. So instead of two, it's just like a one single little handheld one that is perfect for on the go. Sports games, it's really nice to just have something so you can look down on the field or whatever. I joke with my husband, he's looking at the cheerleaders. <laughs> But you know what I mean, I couldn't find the monocular. I don't know where he put it right now, but that's what I ended up getting him for his birthday from the same company. So we highly recommend these super nice quality, great, unique gift that you will have for many years. So something that I'm not sure if I've talked about before in a gift guide, but if I did, it's for good reason. It's just a really nice, practical, useful gift that it's something that you know you should have in your home, but you don't really wanna spend the money on it. So makes a great gift, doesn't it? A battery organizer. So I'm actually gifting one like this for Christmas to someone in my family. Uh, but yeah, this is just such a useful item to have. So you get a complete organizer. You can hang this on the wall if you'd like. I just have it in my shelf in our closet but it just organizes all of your batteries so you can see what you all have what you need more of of course all my batteries are from amazon that's where we get all of ours but what's also really nice about this organizer is it comes with a battery tester so before you get rid of your old batteries you can just double check to make sure that they are in fact done or dead what does it say replace that you should replace them. You know, we change out a lot of things, not as much as we used to, but in kids' toys, like remote control things. And so it's just nice to know that, okay, they are actually needing to be replaced. It's not the toy. So yeah, nice battery organizer. Practical and useful, right? Another gift that I have gifted to many family members are massagers off of Amazon all kinds of different ones that I have bought over the years, but one that I bought for my husband that we've actually had with us for 
three or four years now maybe is this one right here it has an on and off button and of course it's heated as well but it's great for your back or your shoulders and we love it we get it out all of the time i think the plug which is why i don't have it is plugged in behind our couch right now so we can just quickly connect it when we want to use it massages are a great gift it's again one of those things where you don't really want to buy for yourself or spend the money on but it's so nice to have um last year i think i gifted my mother-in-law one of the massage guns i can link that one as well but you know we're all getting older and there's more aches and pains that go along with it so yeah massagers make great gifts Another gift that I think would be a great idea would be just some coffee table books. Now there are high-end coffee table books all the way to very inexpensive ones. Uh, so you can really pick, I guess, your price range based on that. Two that I've been loving lately, this one actually is a new release just bought like a month ago by Amber Lewis, Call It Home. The color brown on this book is gorgeous. It's so pretty. I love this book. So yeah, this would be probably my top pick, but another one that I have seen that has come more popular, very similar color scheme, it would actually pair really well with this one, is Travel Home. Really pretty book. So someone who likes to travel or uh, just have some really unique books. I think this would be great. Yeah, it just talks about decorating your home uh, through your travels with unique pieces and things like that. So coffee table books, always a win in my book. I think I still have like five or six, seven, eight more gifts. <laughs> Once I started finding some, I'm like, oh, that would be a good, oh yeah, that one was two years ago, love that. The next item that I have to share with you is something that we've had for many years. My husband was actually gifted it for Christmas, but it is just, it's a scale. This is a, it's a very basic scale or what it looks like anyways, but this thing does so much more than just tell you your weight. Uh, so this is, a, do you say it Renfo? I'm not even sure. Very popular scale. We actually use it every single morning before we go work out and we have it tied to an app on our phone, but it calculates not only your weight, so you can see your weight fluctuate, the good and the bad, but it also gives you, you know, everything that you wanna know, like your body fat percentage. There's just so much that this thing does. I, yeah. Oh my gosh, I don't even want to show you my numbers. BMI, it tells you your like all your different percentages of your body, your metabolic age. I mean, it goes on and on, and it's really just nice to track and see the, the scales and everything like that in the chart. So yeah, the scale we love. This next item, I say this about everything, but would make a fabulous gift, and you could also pair it with some additional items as well. But I wanted to talk about this bath tray. I love this one. This is by Royal Craft Wood. It has so many different slots and areas to put things. It's adjustable. I'm trying to do this gracefully. Mine is nice and dirty because I do use it. It's out in our bathroom. Uh, but yeah, a place to put like a candle even, your soaps, a tablet stand right here if you want to have that up for your wine glass, like to put the base in there so it doesn't spill. I mean, who doesn't want to take a bath and watch like a, a Netflix show or something like that. I think this would be great for anyone who loves like a spa night at home or just to take baths and they don't already have one of these. But yeah, pair this with some bath bombs, bath salts, a uh, fun candle and you're good to go. So this next item, my dad actually gifted me for my birthday. So we've had it for about a month and it has been so nice. We've used it multiple times already. I wanted to give a shout out to this Yeti bag. We love Yeti in this family. We have a lot of the Yeti cooler products. This is a, I wanna say it's called the Camino 35. It's like a carry-all tote, so it's not necessarily a cooler, but it's more for just carrying all the things that you need along. As you can see, it keeps its shape. It doesn't fall over when you set it down, which is probably the best part about it. You can fit so much in these bags. There's different compartments and zippers. And I use, I've used it all the time already. It's been so nice. 
It, the top does not zip, so it's definitely more of like a tote style, but there's like water bottle compartment. So great if you're like going out uh, for the day or the afternoon. I use this on a lot of like sports weekend trips for going to like a basketball tournament. I'll just pack this full with like snacks and drinks and it just stays in the car with us. But great for like lake life, beach life. I mean, just mom life in general. We love our Yetis this big is no exception i think this is the charcoal gray color or something like that but it comes in a lot of different color options as well and i also think there's a different size option so if this is maybe too big for you you can go a little bit smaller so i am getting into a few pricier options the bag being one of them i have this amazing blanket that i have to show you i went back and forth if i wanted to talk about it but my husband last night we were laying on the couch and he's like I love this blanket. He's never said that, my friends, and I have bought a lot of blankets in my day, so I have to talk about that. It is pricier though, I'm just gonna put it out there, it is pricey, but I felt like it was worth the investment for our family. I actually bought it over Black Friday, so it's still pretty new to us, but I have to mention it. I actually wore, a, it's like a cardigan robe in one of my last videos that night that I was wearing by the same brand, which is by Unhide. Now, I don't know if I've been under a rock, or if this is a newer company or up and coming, but they have some of the softest, like incredible blankets. So this is the Unhide Cuddle Puddle, I believe is what it's called. Now I ordered it in the grayish color, so it's in between a gray and a beige. I'd say this one leads, I don't know, you could go either way. It matches really anything, which is what I wanted. We actually have this in our living room on our section all most of the time. We've only had it for a couple of weeks, if even that, maybe less than that, but I wanted to give this a shout out. This is a hundred inches by a hundred inches. So it's a huge blanket meant for cuddling. Now we are a big family. We have six people in our family and we're always fighting over the blankets or would you share that one with us? This one is perfect for sharing with your family, your little ones, your husband, your wives. And like I said, my husband is even like, I love this blanket. It's lightweight enough, but it's so soft. It has that like fur feel to it. Uh, amazing. Comes in a few different shades. I think of quite a few of them are maybe um, sold out right now on Amazon, but I will make sure to link this. There are different size options as well. So if maybe you don't need the huge one like this, you can go with something a little bit smaller. I will also link the robe cardigan that I was wearing. I actually did buy another one as a gift for someone in our family as well. I should go get it. Let me go grab it quick. So here's the brand Unhide. So this, I call it a cardigan. You could call it a robe, you call it what you want. I'll probably just wear mine for around the house to stay warm, especially in the winter months, which we aren't even in the thick of winter and I'm already freezing. So for the person who feels like has everything, I bet they do not have one of these. I don't know. I could be wrong, but mine is in like a more brownish color, but it comes in like a, oatmeal and like a blush pink i don't know they had a few different options i got mine in a small it's more of an oversized fit more like a robe would be has pockets nice and long and cozy and soft and warm and i think this would make a great gift i actually i think i said this already but i did buy one for someone on my christmas list this year as well i loved it that much if I think of any other ideas throughout the rest of today, I will make sure to add them in to this video, but I have one last thing to share with you, and it's a good one, I have to tell you. <laughs> We've been loving it so far. I actually bought off of Amazon recently a towel warmer. Now, I wanted to test it out before I shared it as a gift idea, and so far, so good. Even our kids love it. Uh, so we just have it plugged in in our bathroom and we put our towels in it before we shower or even take a bath for that matter, although I haven't had time for a bath yet. And once you get out, you open it, pull out a nice warm towel. It's like you're at a spa. It is amazing. And you get to experience it every time you shower. Our kids use it for blankets. You could also put a robe in it as well. And it is just so nice. You can also add different like scents. So you have different aromatherapy options as well. Um, but it has just been so nice to have. I mean, you could gift that along with a bath tray or something or robe even, 
and it would be a fabulous gift. The sun is really bright right now, but I'm hoping you could see it. So this is the one that I bought. It is a good size. It's not that, you know, they have all kinds of size options, but I wanted the opportunity to put two in there if I wanted, you know, larger family, you just never know. So I went with this one. I actually had our electrician put an outlet in the wall for this as well. Uh, but yeah, all it is is you can open it Put your towels in there, close it up, turn it on. This one has a digital screen. Push power and then check and then it turns on and you're good to go. Uh, there's child safety locks, there's different timers and settings and options. I haven't played around with all of those quite yet, but we've been loving this so far. I don't take a shower now without using my towel warmer. The soup is already smelling amazing after coming out of my bedroom. Might have to test it and then I can decide if I want to add anything else. But that's kind of the nice thing about taco soup is when you can just add what you have and it should be delicious. Everybody just left. I've been working on moving all the furniture back, but that is a great thing to have off of the list. So we don't have to move the furniture anymore to get to those windows. But the soup is smelling woo, spectacular. Cannot wait. Probably going to serve this with some sour cream, Fritos you could do on the top as well. Maybe a little bit of shredded cheese. I should probably turn this down now. I'll do that. Actually, I'll just turn it off because we'll be eating soon. But guess what? I totally forgot. I knew I would. The advent. This is how we're going to end today's video. We need to do yesterday's and today, so we need to do 11 and 12. Sprinkle donuts. And birthday cake cookies. What? So sprinkle donuts and the birthday cake cookies right there. I'm gonna have to share these with the kiddos. I think they'll really like those. As much as they don't want to share, I know that they would love them. Okay, friends, it is like 5.35. Now that all the workers are gone for the day, they'll be back tomorrow. I'm actually going to put my pajamas on and call it a vlog. Now, I am planning to vlog again tomorrow. I'm hoping to get started with some more Christmas baking, so be on the lookout for that video really soon. Thumbs up as always if you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Good night.